Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the 8-Fall Champ, the Adult Fan of Lego Champion. And I've got, if I got a set review today, this isn't a collectible minifigure or a video band made or something. This is, this is a set here. Set 21318, the Ideas Treehouse. This thing is massive. But why don't we, uh, we'll try to kind of break it down. Uh, when we look at it here. So I'll start with the minifigures. Again, you can kind of tell right away, and uh, this will be an issue I'm sure throughout the video, is I can't even put it on a table. It gets in its own shadow. Oh my gosh, the cat's trying to infiltrate under the, the door there. That's That'll be the most interesting thing you see in a Lego re review video. Uh, but this thing is so big that it, like, it, it creates its own shadow to the stuff down at the bottom. Uh, again, going from here, all the way across, that's more than a base plate. Like it doesn't come with a base plate, but if it did, you would need more than one just to get it on there. Let's look at the minifigures first. Uh, they're nothing particularly special or great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, the only one that comes with a uh, alternate face is the mom here. She comes with the, uh, I guess, I don't know, smirk or serious face. It's not very serious, but, and then the, uh, the winking face there so uh other than that they all just come with the one one that you see there uh but i do like the bot the builds I, these bottom things are good uh good details i like the 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 table there the campfire with the wands the brick built flowers you don't see those uh leafy plants you don't see those in bright green uh too often uh, it's actually going to be easier for me to just try to turn this, I think. So, uh, <clears throat> that's stairs. That's it's not really a stairwell, but the stairs are... Uh, that's much more solidly built than I thought it was going to be. Just kind of looking at it, I thought that was going to be real uh, uh, fragile. And it's, it's really not too bad. I like the little uh, birdhouse there. I like the use of the Technic hole as, a, as, a, as like an intentional thing there. Uh, as we continue to go around, oh man, this is like, it's heavy. That's, ugh. on the back side, we've got the, uh, the swing there on the left. We've got some mushrooms down at the bottom. That's kind of an interesting build, although there are somewhere mushroom prints. We didn't get any of those. And then we've got the crane to get the supplies up, up to the treehouse so you don't have to take it up the stairs. Why my actual home here is not equipped with that. I don't know that this tree house is. And then this is kind of a little interesting build that caught me off guard. Uh, if you take that away, you can find a little, a little buried treasure there. So that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, but if we go back, oh, let me get this all the way turned around. There we go. Uh, the tree itself, I mean, first of all, this tree trunk, that thing is, that thing is massive. That is solid too. It's built with a pretty good uh, core on the inside. Uh, but once you get up to the actual top of the tree, um, a tree this size should probably have bigger branches or, or more branches or more leaves. I personally, like it, obviously it comes with the green set and then like the fall set, the orange and the yellow. I'm probably gonna put some of the dark orange ones uh, on here just to fill it out a little more. Maybe some more of my own green ones. I just, I want there to be a little more more coverage in that and the thing is is it's a darn if you do darn if you don't because even with this amount of leaves on there it's hard to get into the individual rooms so that's uh i don't know it's a, it's a no-win situation i do like how the the how it's all built where you can adjust the arches and uh height and the uh, angles that the branches are at I, I like how that's done but uh yeah, just, there should, for a tree this size, there should be more. I am going to take this off just so that we can see into the, so we can see into the, into the rooms here. And I guess I'll just start over here. This is uh, the kid's bedroom. And ignore the shadow. You can see you got bunk beds in there. You got on the outside, you got this little balcony with the, with the uh, telescope. There we go. Uh, inside, I like the use of the Arctic piece for the jar with the bug in it. You've got its own little, I don't know if that's a birdhouse or, or what that is there, but 
Uh, you've got the little nod to some science stuff over here, the microscope, the plant in a, in a jar. So that's a cool, of course, I mean, it's all cool, but it's a cool little room. Uh, if we turn it one more. So going down, of course, you have the, the you know, bridge over to, this is the bathroom. And this, I thought this was all, this was hilarious. You've got the water, uh, the bucket there that cl collects water with a little bit of water in it. And you've got the old fashioned shower with the bucket down at the bottom. Uh, you've got the brown like sink there. You've got the brown toilet again with water in it. And you've even got green toilet paper there. So I thought, I thought that was all really, uh, really pretty funny. And then the last room, and I probably could go into more detail on this. I'm trying not to create like a super long video. And we've got the main, the master bedroom, which you would think would actually be the first, would be the last one, be the highest up. Maybe that's just how I would design houses, but instead it's the first one at the top of the stairs. You can see there's the full bed right there. Got the ship in a bottle, a reference to another ideas uh, set. Uh, the cool little compass piece. You got all sorts of little stuff in, uh, little stuff in there. So all that's uh, pretty cool, if you ask. Ask me if we get this all the way turned back around again. And then this, just you can see, it just pops on with some, uh, with some Technic pins there. I don't know that that's gonna. There we go. That went on much easier than I anticipated it. So in terms of giving it a grade and the positives and negatives, the negatives I'll start with just because it's not, I don't think there's super a super long list of negatives. Uh, one, again, I think, like I said earlier, there probably could be or should be more leaves or branches. Two, parts of this are kind of uh, like some of the branches, particularly like the little, the underneath branches. Parts of this uh, aren't the strongest connection or the strongest build. Uh, I would also go on to say that there are parts of this that aren't the most fun build. Like I didn't necessarily enjoy building all of the trunk and the innards and, and some of this stuff like that. Again, it, it could be a lot worse. I mean, I it's, it's not like it was actively bad, but uh, it just, it wasn't the most, I've had more fun builds in the past. I will say that. Uh, one of the other things that was kind of annoying is there's like five different shades of brown and nougat and all that in here. You have dark brown, reddish brown, uh, nougat, dark orange, dark tan. When you put that on the instruction manual with a blue background, not white, it can be very difficult to see what colors are supposed to be what. So that wasn't, that, that was kind of a challenge at times also. There was a couple, there's one instance where I had a dark red piece and I couldn't figure out, I apparently used it in the wrong spot, and I had to go back like 80 steps to figure out where I went wrong. Uh, but that's the negatives, uh, and I don't think there's a, a ton of them. In terms of positives, I mean, this is cool. It's huge. I mean, it's 200, it was $200, but man, this is, and this is the biggest set, both in terms of piece count and size that I have. I mean, the only other ones that I've had to even come close to a, uh, to, to a size to this would be the windmill and the windmill is tall but it doesn't have this much volume to it it's that's like only a 800 piece set this is i want to say like 3000 i don't have the box sitting right here with me but uh yeah this thing is this thing is massive and uh i mean that in a good way like i mean i'll probably put it on on base plates and i'll probably put it on four of them like this is cool i like the details i like the uh you know when you look even like at the trunk for instance, like they could have just made that all completely brown and they put uh, what is essentially, I almost would call it greebling. It's not greebling, but they put little details all the way around. They, you know, they included one of that, that uh, bird, like it's on basically on the underside of, of uh, the rooms of the treehouse, And there's still detail. Um, they could have, you know, they, they probably could have put uh, another more figures but four seems right like it's a family uh you know that that actually makes sense for the number of beds you have bunk beds and then a, a couple so i i like that i like uh again the details at the bottom also like you didn't have to include a swing that would have made perfect sense 
or it would have been an easy, I would not have complained if there wasn't a swing, but it's just cool that there is one. Um, I like that, you know, they could have made this tree or the limbs symmetrical or just like repetitive. You could, they could have just said like build, you know, build four of these that are exactly the same on the top. They didn't. Each one is unique. So uh, taking all of that into consideration, I think I'm going to overall give this a grade of an A minus. I really, really liked it, although at times it just was a little, it, it wore a little bit on me at times, but in the whole, as a whole, this thing is awesome. I can't wait to put it in the Lego City. Until then, it is going to be on display. I've already been showing it off and sending off uh, pictures and snaps to to people. So uh, this is uh, is definitely one that uh, I recommend when while people can still get it. Uh, the price to piece ratio, great. I mean, again, like three thousand pieces, two hundred bucks. I mean, that's you can do the math there. But uh, yeah, definitely giving it uh, a recommendation. And I'm going to give it, <clears throat> excuse me, an A minus for a grade. So you can tell me if you agree or if you disagree, if you think it's awesome, if you think it's, you know, if it's not, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, so leave me a comment, hit the like button, uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button as well. You can, that way you can watch more videos like this in the future. And uh, hopefully I hear from you again soon, or maybe just for the first time soon, although more people have been leaving comments. I do like that. And uh, hopefully you hear from me again soon as well. And as always, thanks for watching.